Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bites. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Balancing the books, the first details of Budget 2012 will be announced by the government this afternoon. Minister for Public Expenditure Brendan Howland will present the details to the Dáil at half past two. The report will lay out the cuts needed in public spending next year, but tax plans won't be revealed until tomorrow. Tune into FYI at six for your no waffle guide to Budget 2012. Let's hope the minister can keep it together. <laughs> Unlike the Italian welfare minister Elsa Fornero, she broke down in tears as she tried to explain the aggressive 30 billion austerity package the government has adopted in a bid to stave off financial ruin. We're in a bit of a state. In a State of the Nation address last night, Enda Kenny said the Irish people are not responsible for this economic crisis, but he warned that a tough budget with painful cuts lies ahead. Opposition parties have criticised the Taoiseach's address, saying there was nothing new in it. He's also been getting sticks since it's been revealed that he overruled two of his cabinet ministers to secure a 37% pay rise for an old friend and government adviser. Out of control, 13 college football fans in the US have been injured too critically after thousands of people poured onto the field at the end of a game. It was all caught on camera as fans stormed the pitch and pulled down goalposts after Oklahoma State's victory over their rivals. Several people were crushed and one person plunged at least 15 feet onto concrete during the wild celebrations. A bit more time. A UK court has given WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange permission to continue his legal battle to avoid extradition to Sweden over sex crime allegations. The decision means Assange can apply to Britain's Supreme Court to remain in the United Kingdom and will not face immediate deportation to Sweden. One pretty expensive pile-up in what could be the most expensive car crash in history. 14 luxury sports cars collided with each other in a huge smash on a Japanese motorway. Eight Ferraris, three Mercedes, a Lamborghini and two Toyotas crashed as they were speeding at around 150 kilometres an hour on their way to a motor festival. Ten drivers were taken to hospital with bruises and cuts, but there were no serious injuries. Seriously, Snuggly Scots, the first giant pandas to live in Britain for nearly two decades, are settling into their new home at Edinburgh Zoo. Eight-year-old Sweetie and Sunshine arrived in Scotland from China yesterday to a traditional welcome of bagpipes. They'll live in the zoo for the next 10 years, where it's hoped they'll give birth to cubs. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, these guys rock at skiing, even when there's no snow. At number four, one slip on the ice and this dog's decided he's not getting back up. At number three, this porcupine's getting a bit prickly when it comes to sharing. Can you share your coin with me? Can I have it? No. Can you have it? At number two, it's never too early to get pranking. This little girl starting with her dad. And number one today, business calls. Sometimes you just gotta take them. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie and Paul will be here with all the sport. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.